In this video, I have a super quick tutorial for you showing how to create a fully local chatbot with Langraph, Adaptive Rag, and Llama 3 to make a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. Adaptive Rag is a cool paper that dynamically selects the best rag strategy based on query complexity. Llama 3 is the latest model in the Llama series published by Meta and is designed to be the best open source model with performance comparable to the best closed models currently available. In this video, we're going to look closely at what is Adaptive Rag, how the Adaptive Retrieval Augmented Generation process works, and how Llama 3 7B and 70B stack up against other models working in instruct mode. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Adaptive RAG is introduced as a novel framework that employs a classifier to dynamically select the most appropriate strategy for handling queries based on their complexity. This adaptive approach tailors the retrieval process to the specific needs of each query, balancing computational efficiency with accuracy. The adaptive RAG framework employs a classifier to dynamically choose the best strategy for large language models based on query complexity. This process begins with a smaller model trained to classify queries into different complexity levels using automatically annotated datasets. These datasets are created by combining predicted outcomes from different models and inherent biases found in existing data. Once the classifier predicts the complexity of an incoming query, the adaptive RAG framework determines whether to use iterative retrieval, single step retrieval, or non-retrieval LLMs to provide an answer. This dynamic selection approach improves efficiency by assigning more resources for complex queries and enhances accuracy by matching the best strategy to each task. The framework can decide the most effective processing strategy by allocating a complexity label to each query. This adaptability allows for a more flexible system, offering better performance than rigid, one-size-fits-all approaches. The result is a more efficient and responsive question-answer framework, capable of handling a wide range of query complexities with precision and speed. Meta developed great language models to innovate, extend, and optimize for simplicity by focusing on four elements, model architecture, pre-training data, scaling up pre-training, and fine-tuning instructions. Llama 3 uses a relatively standard decoder-only transformer architecture as its language model. Although not revolutionary, it employs a tokenizer with a vocabulary of 128,000 tokens, allowing it to encode language more efficiently, significantly improving its performance compared to Llama 2. It also uses grouped query attention, GQA, across 8B and 70B sizes to improve inference efficiency in Llama 3. Meta has invested heavily in pre-training data for Llama 3 using over 15 trillion tokens, all collected from public sources. This is about seven times larger than the Llama 2 training data and contains about four times more code. Meta has developed efficient data usage and optimal training strategies to scale up the pre-training of Llama 3 models. During this process, detailed scaling laws were established to predict model performance and optimize computing resources. For example, an 8B parameter model requires an optimal training complexity of approximately 200 billion tokens. Still, it has been found that further improvement can be seen by training up to 15 trillion tokens. An innovative approach to instruction tuning was introduced to fine-tune the pre-trained model specifically for the chat use case. This approach combines supervised fine-tuning, SFT, rejection sampling, proximity policy optimization, PPO, and direct policy optimization, DPO. By learning priority rankings via PPO and DPO, Meta can better choose how to generate answers, significantly improving performance in inference and coding tasks. Before we can work with Langraph, Adaptive RAG, and perform actions on your text data, we must import various libraries and packages. Here's a list of the libraries and their purposes. Langchain. This is the main library that provides access to Langchain functionalities. 
Langchain community contains third-party integrations that implement the base interfaces defined in Langchain Core. Langchain Core compiles LCEL sequences to an optimized execution plan with automatic parallelization, streaming, tracing, and async support chroma, part of the vector store used for storing text embeddings. Langgraph, an alpha stage library for building stateful, multi-actor applications with LLMs. Streamlit, lets you transform Python scripts into interactive web apps in minutes. GPT for all, an ecosystem to train and deploy powerful and customized large language models that run locally on consumer-grade CPUs, Tavali Python. Search API is a search engine optimized for LLMs and RAG text splitter, a tool to split large documents into smaller, more manageable chunks. Alama allows you to run open source large language models such as Llama 3 locally. We set up a variable named local LLM and assigned it the value Llama 3. Then we set an environment variable Tavali API with an API key. We use Streamlit's function title to set the title of the web page. Afterwards, we created a text input field on the web page where users can enter a question. Additionally, we added a file uploader sidebar. Inside the sidebar, this line adds a file uploader tool set to accept only PDF files. Finally, we added a button labeled process to process the uploaded PDF files. We set up a variable named temporary directory and assign it the path of a directory on the computer where temporary files will be stored. Then we check if the directory specified by the temporary directory exists on the computer. If the directory does not exist, this function creates it. Next, we start a loop that will go through each file uploaded by the user. For each file, we construct the full path where the uploaded file will be saved by joining the temporary directory path and the file's name. We then open a file at the path specified by the temporary file path and write the content of the uploaded file to the disk. Afterwards, we initialize a new instance of PyPDF loader with the path to the saved file. Finally, we use the loader to read the PDF file and store its content in the variable data. We create a recursive character text splitter instance, configuring it with a chunk size of 250 and a chunk overlap value of zero. We will utilize the split text method, which requires a string input representing the text and returns an array of strings, each representing a chunk after the splitting process. Now that we have the data chunks, let's store them in our vector database. I am using the GPT-4 all embeddings. Feel free to use your preference. We use prompt template to create a template for a string prompt that instructs an expert system on how to decide whether a user's question should be directed to a vector store or a web search. Then we set up a pipeline that uses the previously defined prompt as input, processes it through an unspecified LLM and defines a sample question about LLM agent memory. Finally, the pipeline extracts the content of the second retrieved document. Also, we use prompt template for grading the relevance of a document about a user's question to determine whether the document contains keywords related to the question and to provide a binary score, yes or no, indicating relevance, which is returned in a simple JSON format with the key score. We use the Langchain hub to pull the prompt. Next, we define a function named format docs that takes a list of document objects as input. We then create a pipeline called ragchain and set the user's question as agent memory. Finally, it prints the output generated by the chain. This output is expected to be the language model's response to the input question processed and formatted by the chain. We define a prompt template to assist in grading whether an answer is substantiated by a given set of facts. This involves presenting a block of documents labeled as facts, followed by an answer that needs to be assessed against these facts. The grader is instructed to provide a simple yes or no score, indicating if the answer is supported by the facts. This decision should be returned as a JSON object with a single key, score. We also define a prompt template for evaluating whether a given answer is useful in resolving a specific question. This template displays the answer and the related question separated by lines, 
guiding a grader to assess the relevance and utility of the answer the grader's task is to provide a simple yes or no verdict on the usefulness of the answer which should be returned as a json object containing a single key score we also define a prompt template for rewriting questions to improve their suitability for retrieval from a vector store we added the web search tool Tavily to help extract relevant topic content we defined the state structure for our graph in this example our state includes the user's question the generation of the question and a document we create a function called retrieve takes the current state which includes the question as input it then uses a retriever to obtain relevant documents based on the provided question the retrieved documents are added to the state along with the original question also we create a function called generate to improve the question and generate an answer it employs a retrieval augmented generation rag model to generate the answer then we create a function called grade documents to evaluate the relevance of the retrieved document to the original question it iterates through each document scoring its relevance using a retrieval grader documents that are deemed relevant are retained while irrelevant ones are filtered out from the state finally we create a function called a transform query to improve the original question for better retrieval it takes the original question and potentially the retrieved documents as input using a question rewrite generates a better phrased version of the original question we have a web search function based on the rephrase question it retrieves web results using a web search tool and formats them into a single document also we have root question determines whether to root the question to the web search or the rag based on the source of the question it invokes a question router to determine the source of the question whether it originated from a web search or vector store depending on the source it returns the corresponding node to call next then we create a function called decide to generate this function decides whether to generate an answer or to regenerate a question based on the relevance of filtered documents if all documents are deemed irrelevant it decides to regenerate a new query otherwise if relevant documents are present it decides to generate an answer finally we have the grade generate versus documents and question function this function assesses the quality of the generated answer by checking for hallucinations and whether it addresses the original question it first checks if the generation is grounded in the provided documents if grounded it further evaluates if the generated answer addresses the original question based on assessments it decides whether the generation is useful or not useful we have defined all the nodes that we need now we can define the workflow and add nodes to it now connect the respective nodes and set the entry point this is the node from where the workflow starts this graph will include five nodes retriever a generator a document grader a query transformer and a web search and one edge will be decided to generate now let's execute the process first let's enter a question that will execute a pipeline that looks up vector data and answers the question i implemented the adaptive rag sample using llama 3 this time only a simple example is executed but depending on the question more iterative processing such as query conversion will be executed in actual operation various things need to be considered such as adjusting parameters and limiting the number of loops however determining and executing a route based on a query makes sense in terms of quality and efficiency although i haven't done any surveys it's possible that in the future we will see the emergence of llms and various other models that are specialized for route determination